Chris Lepresti joins us now for more on the Knicks. And Chris, how reassuring was it to see the Knicks, this team take care of business against a Bulls team with a losing record that just beat the Knicks on Friday? They go back out and knock them off. Especially because they're going to face them again in short order before the season ends and because you're heading into a tough road game against the Celtics coming up later this week. So to check off this win down the stretch, I think, is an excellent sign for where this Knicks team is at. And we talked the other night on the show about how the standings are stacking up and you really want to do what you can to lock in one of those home court advantage seeds maybe even end up as high as the two depending on what happens with the Sixers and the Heat playing tournament maybe that's getting a little bit too much in the weeds at this stage but every win counts right now with just a few games remaining so solidifying their spot where they're at in the conference in the standings making sure they end up with home court advantage here so getting this win against Chicago before they have to face them again goes a long way towards securing that obviously Jalen Brunson led the way again but we always talk about him after He's the a win cheat code, yeah. he is but OG Ananobi in this one 24 points in 35 minutes how confident are you starting to get that he is back to the form we saw before the surgery oh I thought this was a great step you know because after Sunday's game we kind of talked about Dante DiVincenzo and where he's at and I felt like okay well you know what Julius Randle's not coming back and maybe it's a little bit too still too much to expect DiVincenzo to fill all of that role I think it's really the combination of these two and look we know what OG can do on the defensive end of the floor I think the offensive side of thing uh, of the floor is where I really needed to see a little bit more so for him to find his shot and get a little bit more volume in this game shoot at a good a good clip a good percentage I'm not trying to suggest he's going to be anywhere near 100 percent I think we all realize that's not going to happen until maybe next season but look they gave him his time to rest up you're coming down the stretch you've got to solidify your spot in the standings and start to ramp up for the playoffs so I think a good sign for where he's at they need everything he can give right now on both ends of the floor if they are really going to head into the playoffs on a high note and try to make a deep run into the playoffs. You know, it never takes long to look at the box score and see his impact. All you do is look at that plus minus yes. and you realize he's all over the well place. Well-rounded.